Welcome back to FitRex TV. We are going to be jumping back in for 2024, recording our FitRex TVs, joined by myself, Alex Parr, and... I'm Joe McLean. I'm the head mentor here at FitRex, and we're ready to make you guys some money. We're ready to rock and roll. FitRex TV, the idea behind it is we're going to be going out into the community, getting content from the fitness industry. We're going to be getting some fitness professionals in here, asking them questions, where focus this year is community, community, community. And that's what we're trying to build here at FitPrex TV. So we hope you stick with us. We hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be bringing you guys the hottest content from the fitness industry. Look, listen, and enjoy. You <laughs> went there. So FitPro X is a network which we are creating and we're getting people all, from all over different aspects of the, of the fitness industry involved um, whereby we're going to be getting in new PTs, P PTs that are relatively new to the industry, PTs that have been in the industry a while and we're going to try and make those guys and you guys as much money as we can through developing our network, um, through bringing people in as mentors and through just generally helping educate different areas of the industry on how to make the best business possible. My personal goal is to reach out to as many fitness professionals as we can, help them increase their revenue streams mainly through network and education um, and just help people who want to make a good career out of the fitness industry because it's been an industry that's been very kind to myself and Joe. We've seen the ups and downs of the industry. We've seen the changes in the industry. We don't know all of the answers. We're not going to pretend to. We're going to try and bring in as many influential, useful people onto the FitPrex TV as possible so that hopefully we're providing you guys with a little bit of value. Um, I've spent the last, well, since 2016, so it'll be coming up to eight years, educate people, help them enter the industry. And in that time, I've rubbed shoulders with hundreds of successful fitness professionals and I've been able to take little bits of everything that they've done on my travels around, you know, the world really, because I've spent some time in Dubai doing the same thing in different places. Just take some of the learnings that I've benefited from and see if you guys can apply them to what you're doing because I feel like I've had good opportunities come my way by listening to different people. And if you're, you know, in the slog of training people, you know, you might spend most of your time in the gym sometimes it's difficult to get an, a different perspective and really pivot your business in a way that's going to be successful. So hopefully we can bring those teachings to you so that you don't have to travel all over the country like I did to, to learn about it. On that as well, though, you see it all the time, don't you? You know, like um, a lot of PTs starting off, they, they, they focus a lot of their time on perfecting the perfect session. Whereas in my opinion, what people should be doing and what we're going to try and give off to you guys is that um, you can you can change what you're doing as you go. You can learn how to be the best PT in the world as you go. But if you haven't got a network, then you're not going to get anywhere with it. So what we're going to try and teach and what we're going to try and bring people in on is that at the start, we should be focusing our time on building our network, building our... Um, credibility and sort of finding people, finding similar people that have similar interests and similar drive to 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 come together with. Um, a lot of the, I don't know what. Yeah, well, I mean, from my experience, one of the key factors when I have a newly qualified personal trainer or someone who is going through our academy, becoming a personal trainer where they come from and in the industry that they've came from or the background that they've come from in terms of who they know really can play a big part in 
how quickly they find success in the industry doesn't necessarily mean that it's a long-term um, marker for success, your network going into the industry. But from my experience, someone who's come from a sales job, someone who's come from a job where they just had loads of contacts, someone who's came from a sports team or a network where they just knew loads of people, that is one of the biggest leg ups in the industry that you can possibly have because straight away you've got a vast amount of people in your audience that you can be communicating with, chatting to, telling them what you're up to now. And if you've always been a person who's been into their fitness, when you transition into the fitness industry, then those people will be kind of keen to be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll train with you. That being said, it doesn't matter if you don't have a network yet, but I think that just highlights the importance of making that your priority. Just because you don't have a network yet doesn't mean that you're going to be at a total disadvantage. It just means that that's something you need to work on. So get out there, get a network. And one of the things that we're hoping to do is help to accumulate a network for you and, and help you be part of the FitproX network so that you can be meeting people who are going to help you on your way, help you on your travels. Yeah, I think when, obviously focus on developing a network in terms of expanding it but for me it's not it's not about actually the the numbers of people within your network it's about the relationships that you build within that network so if you can have the the fitness industry model as a gym owner um what i've found is that rather than going for the the high numbers in terms of gaining members in terms of you know gaining clients everything i've done across um my span of being in the fitness industry. It's more about what I call the, the, the circle theory. So if you've developed a really good relationship with someone, it could be anyone within your network, you could play for a sports team, um, as Alex had just said. Um, you could, you know, like previous work, previous jobs you've been at, um, friends, family. As long as that person trusts you and what you're doing, they will believe in your product. So the, the circle theory is all about the, that one person as long as you've got a strong relationship with that person, you can create different, so you, you, you can sell them the one product, which will be maybe a one-to-one -one session or a group session. And from that, rather than just focusing on expanding your network and finding other one-to-one -one sessions, you use that, that one person, that, that circle that you've created to, to generate more circles around it. So that could then become, right, I'm going to then sell them a T-shirt I'm going to get them from a one-to-one -one session into a class. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and, and, and have the biggest network in the world and know everybody and be the, the sort of big name on campus. It just sort of means that the relationships that you're developing, you have to develop trust within. And then from that, you can create different reven revenue streams from that same person. Absolutely. People buy from people that they know, like, and trust. However, like we said in the start... If people don't know you, then they can never get to the point where they trust you. So like Joe said, you don't have to have a massive network. You don't have to know hundreds of people. I think people get bogged down with influencers that they see with hundreds of thousands of followers and stuff like that. You definitely don't need that. To have a successful fitness business, you could have 15 loyal clients. If they all train with you three times a week, that's 45 hours a week. You, you, you're laughing. Um, but it's... It's getting that first bit where they actually know you because people will buy from someone they don't like or trust before they buy from someone that they don't know purely because it's impossible to buy from someone that you don't know. Um, so, yeah, I think the key is going to be helping you guys build a network, teaching you how we build our network and just hopefully giving you guys a real insight so that whether you're someone who's a new personal trainer whether you're thinking about becoming a personal trainer or thinking about getting into the fitness industry or whether you've been in the fitness industry for a few years now and you just feel like you need to shake things up, you need to see what else is out there, you need to utilise maybe the network that you've already built and capitalise on it. So, you know, a lot of the value that we're hoping to add is going to be for people who've already got network as well. And like Joe said, with the circle theory, looking at building product ecosystems out of that network that you have so that you have upsells for those people as well.